description was, but something tells me we went over. First, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Curious how a how it happens feel right now. B, what you think of the first half and clearly had it going after the first half. Uh, I mean, it feels good. I mean, the rotations are still. I'm still getting used to them. I mean, I'm as frustrating as it is. I know it's the smartest thing we have to do in terms of minutes and just being. Being smart with the ramp up coming back, but I feel really good. You know, my back is thinking a forfeit got a little tight on me when I went back in. Sitting for a little while, but I mean that's what we gotta deal with for the next couple games. So I mean it was good to be able to second game get get my lungs a little bit more up under me, my legs up under me, and uh just be aggressive. Uh, uh, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When facing a guy like LeBron, how particular is it to make sure you guys get into your defensive rotations when Sometimes you may be overhelping with LeBron. Um, if you're going to the basket, looking then he's out by the three point line. There's a double team and the rotation a couple of times seem to be coming a little bit later. Uh, I mean it's tough. I mean he's he's a really good player. I mean he's been doing this a long time. Um, he's really good at trying to manipulate defenses and trying to figure out where he can attack best. And uh, I think he was doing that. I think we were we like you said we were definitely late on a few of our rotations. Uh, you know, getting to AD, getting to the short rolls. Um, and that kind of put us in scramble mode. And that's when it was tough because, you know, they haven't shot it great, but uh, coming into the night, but they shot they shot lights out tonight. So, I mean, they made us pay for getting in the paint. They had way too many. I mean, they're a team that got a lot of points in the paint, but uh, I think they caused us to scramble a little bit more in the, in the second half, and they got a lot of threes off of that. But a lot of that comes from Braun initiating. Yeah, that put back. Dunk attempt in the second quarter, you took a foul, a foul on the ball. Was your you, you mentioned the tightness later in the game? Did that have any impact on it at all? Uh, well, I haven't tip dunked probably since high school. Uh, I don't think I got that high off the ground, maybe a centimeter, but it was uh, it was good to be able to give it a, an attempt to get a foul foul call a lot of it. But no, I mean it was. I mean, coach wants us to be aggressive and attack and uh, try to get extra extra possessions for us. So. It was good to see that happen and, and just, like I said, get my legs up front of me again. They put on a 19 to run at the end of the third, at the fourth. Offensively, what do you feel like you guys weren't doing? Because I think you started that fourth quarter, right? Yeah, it was tough. We weren't aggressive enough. I think we were very lackadaisical. We were very, like, uh, kind of on our heels. They came out, pressed us. They came out and were aggressive. And, uh, Man, that's that's pretty the gist of it, man. They came out hit first, and we didn't we didn't respond to a little bit later. Is your focus kind of going to be as you get comfortable in those late game situations? Obviously, Kevin had it going, mm -hmm. run through it, but how are you kind of trying to play off of that and get comfortable? I mean, it was a, I mean, he ran a little DHO to me at the end of the game where I got I got a little bucket off of that, but I mean, it's it's free flowing, man. Like it's. I don't think we need to complicate it, and I think that's that was Cage's going into his mode, and I mean, we have three guys who can really go do that at any time, you know? And so, I mean, granted, down the stretch, we're still trying to figure it out. But, I mean, once he has it going, I'm going to give him the ball. I mean, I'm not going to ask any questions. Every shot he takes is a great shot to me. Uh, so, I found my niche, and, like, he ran a little pitch play to me. Like, I was ready. I was aggressive, and that'll happen. You know, we'll we'll figure it out. But it shouldn't have came down to that, us doing that at the end of the game. We should have put him away a lot earlier. It felt great. Uh, the purple was energetic. Um, it's one of my grandmother's favorite colors, so I, I definitely embraced. I embraced that love today, and uh, it was it was it was super exciting. You know, granted, it was the first you know in season tournament game. It felt like a playoff atmosphere, but to be my first game in front of these fans, it was it was amazing. You're approaching defensively, but you're working your way back from injury. Both goes down. Like you guys know what you could be, but mm -hmm. you're having to take it. One step at a time to get to that point. I imagine you guys are chomping at the bit. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, but like you said, it's a day at a time, a step at a time. You know, uh, it wasn't easy for me going down at the beginning of the year and watching guys. It's like I know the frustration is probably on Book's mind, and he he's ready to get back at any moment. And uh, and probably just our staff and our team. Like it's a lot of it's a lot of in and out, fix, figuring out rotations, guys in different roles. Um, so it's it'll be it'll be a change. It'll be a little. A little change, a little difficult, you know, a little, I won't say difficult, it was an adjustment, you know, for us and 
first few games, but I think once we're at full strength, I think we'll have a great idea of who we can be. No problem.